Hello? 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 Is this thing working? I think it's working. Alright, let me turn my light up a little bit. There we go. That works, yeah? My screen got turned way up. Whoops. There we go. Maybe that's too loud. Oh, that's loud. How's that? That's something, yes. <laughs> Hopefully that sounds good. Hi, it's Big Click Energy. It's Big Click Energy. It's me. I'm back. It must be a Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. I went to the Renaissance Festival over the weekend. Put some snooze in my mouth real quick, because that's how we roll here with snooze. Uh, well, before I get into Renfair, Hi, I'm Big Click Energy. <laughs> Welcome to my live stream. It's a late one. Typically, I start around four, at least according to my schedule. There it is. That's the word. Really had to dig into the deep files. <laughs> deep files of the brain for that one. According to my schedule on Twitch, I typically start streaming around four. Um, that didn't happen today. I had a lot going on. I had to go get the brakes changed on uh, the vehicle that I share with my partner. Um, that took a lot of time. <laughs> uh, I wish I could do it myself. I miss being able to work on cars by myself. Um, but I don't have a garage or a lift or any of that kind of stuff anymore. And according to some HOAs, you can't, I'm sorry, I keep fiddling with my camera. According to some HOAs, you can't even change your oil in your parking lot or driveway, mind mind you. Ridiculous. Absolutely absurd. So that had to be done today. A whole bunch of other stuff. Had a lot of photo work I had to catch up on. And a lot of that I wasn't even able to stream because it was just I just had to like hone in and focus. No time to chat. Uh, but the last time we were here, I did this. I started with, um, do I have the original source material? Yeah, started with that. <clears throat> oh, he can't see it, hold on. Started with that. And turned it into that. How about that? <laughs> Neat, huh? So that's what we did the last time. Uh, this time, Actually, I want to show you something really neat that I did while I was away. Okay, I think that might be a little loud. Is that good? Yeah. Now I'm speaking over the music. Okay. If you're here and you're listening, just let me know if it's too loud or something. So, while I was away, uh, a friend of mine reached out and wanted to know if I could fix up this image, which was actually a part of a much more mess <laughs> um, like it was teeny weeny and it was like a Christmas like a holiday kind of a big border banner thing and this was in the middle of it the only thing black it was just weird it was one of those boomer internet things I don't know it's just like I don't know something my mom would have made and shared uh, before she passed away but Anyway, um, I cut all that ex excess out around it, that big unnecessary Christmas, like, 3D looking border, and I just narrowed it down to what you see right here, and huh, uh, after some time, I made it look like that. So, did that. <laughs> did that in a day. It's like I can blow it up pretty big. Yeah. Doesn't look bad, huh? Going from this... Going from that... To that. Pretty cool, right? Not bad. So that's what I got up to for a day. And then over the weekend, sorry if I'm just like barreling straight into everything, but I'm excited. Over the weekend, I went to a Renaissance festival 
Actually, apparently, one of the nicer ones, I wouldn't know. I've never been to any other ones. I've always wanted to go to one on the East Coast, but um, I live in Arizona, and according to somebody that I spoke to at the Ren Fair, who's been going there for a long, long time, said that our Renaissance Festival is one of the finer ones. Um, you'll never find a piece of trash on the ground, like that kind of thing. It's like, they compared it to, like, Disneyland. It's like the Disneyland of Ren Fairs. And I was like, okay. It is, I mean, it's nice. It's a pretty nice Ren Fair. I've been going a few years now. Well, actually, I've probably gone about... A few years consecutively, but off and on. I've probably been there about five or six times, maybe five. But yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Had a good time, as usual. And I took photos. And I've been so busy. This was Saturday that I went and I took photos. The grand opening. Because it only happens Saturdays and Sundays from this last weekend until I think the first weekend in April or the last weekend in March. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I went and took photos. And I've been so busy with a bunch of other crap that I haven't even been able to uh, look at them. So. I just put the memory card in the back of the computer right now in my, in my memory card reader thing. So I just put it in there. <sighs> and so you're going to see unedited, raw, uncut, you know, yeah. So hopefully, hopefully, oops, I knocked something over. Hopefully it's not hideous. Hopefully it looks, hopefully they look good right out of the camera. I didn't really try. I didn't really aim for much. I just kind of pointed my camera at what catches my eye. That's kind of how I work. I don't really bother people. I don't really go up and make chit chat with folks. Some people like that. I just like I'll ask people, you know, may I take your photo? Or if they're doing something like playing in this band, I'll hold up my camera, point at it, and somebody will give me a, you know, a nod or something. I always ask for consent, whether verbal or nonverbal. Um, but yeah, I uh, just walk around and shoot what interests me. That's kind of my process. I've hung out and spent time with other photographers who are the opposite and are very energetic when it comes to approaching people and making small talk and taking up a lot of someone's time, which I could be a positive, could be a negative for me. I just don't like it. I'm there to take a photo and move on. <laughs> you know, if you want to talk, that's one thing, but I don't really make a point to go out of my way to like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm bothering people if I do. So anyway, I just move around, shoot what interests me. And right now I'm just going to choose what I want to import. I don't even know what I shot. It's been almost a week since I've got to take these. I also did not have a telephoto lens, so probably didn't get very good photos of the bird. Oh my goodness. Can't really tell if it's foot in focus or not. No, it's blurry. That's a little blurred. It's cool though. Oh yeah, there's a mermaid. That was a lot of fun. Ooh. It's cool. Tail looks cool like that. It's a good pose. I might edit one of these. Or I might just get some public domain images of mermaids. I've been wanting to rent an underwater kit forever, but it's so flippin' expensive. <laughs> I really need a good reason too. I need a good mermaid model. Hey, oh hey, if you're just joining us, hola, como estas? Um, or, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going through Renaissance Festival photos. Just went to Ren Faire Saturday. And I've been so flippin' busy all week that I haven't, whoa, earthquake, I haven't had a chance to uh, even look at these. So I totally forgot what I even took photos of. I vaguely remember the mermaid. What else did I shoot? Oh yeah, the joust. I shot the joust. It's other stuff. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. 
I seriously don't remember. That's and that's sad. <laughs> These are cute. I wish I had an underwater rig. Someday I'll rent one. I'll never buy one. I'll never potentially drown my own gear. That's the kind of shit you rent <clears throat> and then take back <laughs> and let someone else deal with potential damage. Oh, that's a nice pose. I might be able to do something with that. Edit, edit wise in the future. I've edited an Aquaman and I've edited an Ariel out of tail. Actually, I've edited a few aerials out of tail, but I've never edited an aerial or a mermaid for that matter of any kind in tail. These are beautiful. Ooh, I don't remember this guy, but he looks sick. Ooh, I should be able to edit that. Oh yeah, the medieval Nightwing. That was sick. Yes. <laughs> yes, queen. Oh yeah, here's a joust. I went to two jousts in one day because <laughs> two out of three ain't bad. I would have went to all three if I didn't want to catch other shows. Oh yeah, this was my night. He was pretty good. He was riding a lady horse. Oh, damn, that's a good photo of that horse. whole pole there. Oh. Nice. Oh, these are going to be so much fun to look at. <laughs> Keep in mind, I don't have a telephoto lens, excuse me, on this camera. But I did my best with what I have. I have a zoom lens. It's just not like officially, you know, bonkers huge. I can't get super tight from a distance, unfortunately. I used to have telephoto lenses for my old cameras, but new camera is a little pricey. It's a full frame. So lenses for it cost like three times as much as other cameras. It's so, ugh, it's so frustrating. <clears throat> but I want the quality of detail because of the editing I do. I need as many megapixels like, you know, as I can get my hands on, essentially. So yeah, just walked around Ren Faire, took a bunch of photos, <laughs> bought some stuff, bought a really sick drinking horn. I should maybe go get it and show and tell later. Oh, here we go. Now we're serious. Now we're going to do some jousting. Mm. Boy, when I tell you how many people walked in front of me when I was taking photos, which is fine, because it's going to happen, but whew, you really don't notice it until it's a thing. <laughs> oh, there's a hat in the way, man. Beautiful suit of armor. Oh my goodness. Well, a top half of armor. Couldn't sit in the suit. That's oh, gorgeous. So shiny. Oh man, our knight stepped right in the way. Oh, that's okay. I got a lot more passes. And I got more at the other show. And there was a sword fight at the end. To the death. It's fantastic. It was blood packets and everything. <clears throat> I don't know how many of these I'm actually going to keep, but I'm just importing. Right now. First time I'm seeing them since last weekend. Straight off the memory card.
Ooh, he got the shield. Incarnate Knight won. It's all scripted, of course. But our Knight won the first joust and then died in the second one. <laughs> Unfortunately. Ooh, that's cool. Side view. Nice profile. Damn it, quit walking in front of me. Oh my god. Oh, so many people walking in front of me. Ooh, oh, oh! Oh, so I didn't actually do this, but next year, if they're there again, I will absolutely, or if I have any reason to go back this year and have the money for it, um... I'm gonna pay for this experience because it looked sick. It's a dragon. F it's it's a forge that's shaped like a dragon. So the forge is in the mouth of the dragon, and you can pay however much money for whatever you want to make. You can make like I think the cheapest thing is like thirty dollars, and it's like a hairpin or a rune pendant that you can turn into like a necklace, and then it goes up from there up to like a hundred or a couple of hundred, and you can make different levels of like knives. And there's like a, the one I want's like a rail spike knife. So like the end of it's like a, a rail spike essentially, which is sick to me. It's so it's a knife made out of a rail spike, but it's rad. And I got to watch a guy make, I took a video actually. I need to, oh, crap, dang it. I forgot to put that on my TikTok <laughs> while well, it was still relevant. But yeah, I took a photo of the forge apparently. Oh, and I caught these dancers doing pretty dancey things. It's a cool pose. This is something I really enjoy. The first time I ever attempted to shoot a live is <laughs> actually it's on my website, and it's it's not a joke. It's my first attempt, and every time I tell that to people, they're like, "Bullshit." <laughs> no, for real. Um, I'd never shot a live show before this. I've shot like people at conventions walking around doing things but not people like dancing or juggling or blowing fire or whatever kind of you know stage performance art stuff um that you might see so the first time i ever did that i went to a local bar and this show was going on that was carnival themed and so there was a sword swallower and, you know, fire breathing and all that kind of jazz and some drag, I think, and live music. And you know, it's like a whole mix of stuff. It was actually really awesome. But um, it was my first try. I just walked in and I was like, hi, I have a camera. Do you mind if I take photos? I've never taken photos of a thing like this. And I just wanted to try. Look like something fun. I like circus themed things like, you know, may I basically, please? And they let me. They were kind enough to let me. And so this really was my very first attempt at doing that stuff. They're not maybe stellar, but I don't think they're bad. I think I got some pretty good stuff here. Look at that. Her tongue's on fire. Look at it. That's sick, right? I mean, come on. That was sick. This one I used to put on my business cards. I should put that on my business card again. It is a stunning photo. So yeah, I really, now I really like going to things, especially with lights <laughs> like that and shooting. I love doing stuff like that. Oh, and there's drag. Let's see. Someone's got candles. I love it when fire and lights involved. So yeah, for real though, this, this carnival with this lady and this, this other lady here that was together, that was my first try. Pretty cray cray. Pretty cray. Uh, yeah. We'll just leave it there. I leave that there to pull up examples of stuff. Alright, whoop. Let's go back to checking these out. Such a cool little corner stage. Oh, was she done? Okay. Well, that's the end of that dance. It's okay, they do so much more. Hmm. Yeah.
cool. I've never shot anything like this before, so it was my first try. <laughs> it was harsh lighting. Thankfully, most of the stage was in shade. Stop me if you think I should save something that I haven't. Ooh, that's cool. She goes to grab it. Am I hitting the right button? Yeah, okay. That's cool. That's cool. There we go. That'll wait. One of those will be nice cropped. Oh shit, she looked right at me. Got kind of blurred. Oh crap, my contact is malfunctioning. There we go. It'll be fine. I didn't have to scoot. Hold on, I'm scooting things. Everything's being scooted. You might hear a noise. There. Oh, oh, the scooting has... I finished the scooting. It's over. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, my contact. It is so dry. So dry. Oh, my God. Hold on. What is? What happened to my synth wave? Hold on. It got spooky. It got too spooky. Let's change it. We're listening to Twitch safe music, of course. There we go. There we go. That's good. Okay, wow, if you see me blink, it's because I'm wearing contacts, and I normally don't wear contacts to work. So, can you hear me now? Yes, yes, yes. Wait, can you hear me now? Now, now, now. I have to get really close. How about now? What if I turn my gain up here? Is that too loud? Oh, shit. Is that all the way up? That's all the way up. Oh, shit, that's too much. How about that? How about that? How's that? That's good. That's in the yellow. Okay, sorry, I'm still te just testing. Okay. okay. Is that good? That's good. Yes, okay. If it pops, I have a pop protector. Hopefully it doesn't pop. All right. <clears throat> yeah, it's fine. Just wanna make sure you can hear me and the music. All right, I am thirsty. I have the thirst. God, it's so good. It's so good. I think that piece is done. Oh boy. Man, I should have turned my shutter speed up a little bit for this shoot little event. 
hands are blurred. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. The hand's not blocking her face too much and the tassels are popping off just a little bit. Nice. Even if you take a hundred crappy ones, it's worth it for that one. That's a good one. That's sick. Oh, they were like, oh, there's hooks on them. Oh, that's cute. Neat. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that'll be nice. Man, I need to post some work. I'm so freaking far behind on posting. Like, actually sharing stuff is awful. Right now, like, I haven't even seen these photos since Saturday. I went to the Ren Fair, for those of you just tuning in. I see we have some more viewers. Um, I went to the Arizona, Arizona Renaissance Festival on Saturday and uh, took a bunch of photos. Didn't really have a plan, just walked around and shot what interested me. Ooh, motion typically interests me. This looked cool. I like shooting stuff like this, it's fun. Ooh, that was a nice one. Back up, okay. No, I don't want that. Oh, and we're back to the second joust. This lady looks just like my friend Vicky. It's uncanny. I even I I told her I was like, you look just like a friend of mine. Which she was thrilled about. Uh oh. Yeah, this is supposed to be the five o'clock joust. The sun looks like it's five o'clock. You know, I never mean to. I just kind of sit wherever they direct me, but I always end up on this guy's <laughs> side, which is cool. He's he's they're all amazing. Ooh, that's a cool one. If I could crop that other person out. Oh, there we go. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, I got a good shot of justice. I didn't realize that. I totally forgot what I took. All these photos just, ugh. I've been so busy this week. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's a clear shot. Nobody stood in the way. Cool. Ooh, contact. Ooh, they both got it. Ooh, they, ooh, and he took his little mount off. Oh my goodness. Drama. That's cool. Oh, they both got knocked off. That might be nice. That's cool. Whew. Yes, R2. Thank you. Ooh. Huh. Looks like it's going through his head. I wonder if they keep track of how many times they make a pass, like in a lifetime, <laughs> like from the day they start. How many times have you ran down that, you know, field and made the jousting pass at somebody? These guys are pros. Oh, that's a great shot. Oh, the horse is looking right at me. <gasps> Horsey! Oh, look at that horsey! I horsey! 
What a beautiful horsey. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Just fancy feathers. Look at his macaroni. So many feathers in his hat. Mm -mm -mm. It's a four cheese macaroni. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> that's that's a graceful. That's graceful. Just screaming. Awesome. Oh. Oh no. He got legged. Blood packet? Do we have a blood packet? Oh, we got some kind of tubing. Is that? I can zoom in later. Keep that just so we can zoom in. Oh, nice. Oh, he's gonna get his. Oh, yeah, he's he's ready. Hands on the blood packet. Oh. It was. It sucked that it was our team that got murdered, but you know. That's the way the story went. Oh, nice. I got the blood going off. I did not realize my shutter speed was whew, just a half a step too slow to get it crisply, but we got what we got. <laughs> oh, don't tell me that's it. I thought that I got the other guy's death. Oh no, I was watching it with my eyes because it was so far away. That's right. <laughs> Sorry. I was living the moment and not shooting it. There has been years in the past where I've gone to Renfair and shot, like, on purpose. Like, um, people have paid for me to go. Um, actors that work there and stuff. I've had friends over the past that have worked there and they're like, hey, I'll get you in if you come take my photo and help me stage it a bit in some of the areas. And I was like, yeah. So, like, I've done really fancy pants photos out there before, but this was just like, I'm going to take my camera and dick around and <laughs> do whatever I want kind of thing. So, but yeah, I guess I got what I wanted to get. Let's import them. Oh, that's all headshots from, I had a, I had a normal paid corporate headshot gig yesterday. Three hours. Two locations. Nice people, though. They were nice to work with. Alright, I think that's finally empty. Is the music working? Can you hear the music? Hopefully you can hear the music. I think it's working. Okay. So yeah, <clears throat> that's where we're importing those. Once they're imported, I'll go ahead and do like a one pass through Lightroom. <coughs> Pardon me. And get those edited. But um, forget those of you just tuning in. Last time I streamed, in case you missed it, I da 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 da. I took this and created this. That neat. That's what we did on the last stream. And I actually got it done in the whole stream. Like in an hour and a half or something. It was pretty quick. I was surprised in myself that I got it done so quickly. So, but yeah. It was cool, fun, fun and cool. I have another astronaut themed, spacey themed photo to work on whenever, you know, I don't know, whenever the mood strikes, essentially. And then uh, a day or so ago, I can't remember, I've been so busy this week, I feel like. I'm so, oh, and I'm also working on, now that I have the attention of a few of you, I'm also working on... Uh, Nobody wants to hear this, but a GoFundMe, but it's not for me. It's for a friend of mine. I've been working on it for like a month. Um, it's already live. They posted it, but I think I'm going to like start a new one, a fresh one, for the same cause. 
and just run it myself because it, theirs is getting no hits at all um, and they desperately need help so if you know anybody I've done a few GoFundMes in the past that were successful but they weren't for like I've never needed I've never done one for me personally they've always it's always been for like other things um, and on a few I've met with the goal but like I don't know if you know anybody who like has ever had a successful one and knows anything about it I'm all ears I'm also thinking about taking it to TikTok but TikTok can be I don't know social media can just be a cruel place so yeah anyway a friend of mine reached out and was like hey I have this old photo can you restore it because I've done that in the past that's the thing that I've I've done and so I took this it was actually a part of a larger weird Christmas there's like a Christmas frame around it um, so I cut all that out and spent some time with it and I got to this so it's something yeah they liked it they were happy with it that's all that matters uh, what else what else what else what else what else oh I gotta make some more flyers that's on my list of things to do three down several more to go thankfully they're spread out like the dates I don't have to do them all in one week what else that's it for right now. Oh, and I had those corporate headshots that I had to do the other day. Still have to um, deliver them, but they're done. And finally getting to see my Rinfair photos. I'm so excited. <clears throat> Took these Saturday. It was the grand opening. Got to hear the cannons blast and everything. It was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, I've been so jam-packed with doing stuff ever since then I haven't even had a chance to put these in the computer and look at them so I totally forgot what I took but I'm stoked about some of those mermaid ones actually so that's that's cool met a lot of interesting characters at Renfair a lot of fun good times excuse me <coughs> <coughs> okay <clears throat> We're just waiting for these to load. So while we wait for these to load, what's up? How's it going? Are you having a good day or an evening? I don't fucking know. It's nine o'clock at night where I'm at. Oh my God. That's a late stream. Ew. I usually stream at four. I'm sorry. Maybe this is better for some people. Anyway, you want to see something really cool that I got for myself? Uh, I couldn't resist. I was on Etsy dicking around looking at stuff. Does it glow? I heard it glows in the dark. Hold on, I'm gonna try put it next to my lamp for a second. Let's see if it glows in the dark. Man, I don't know about the glowing in the dark bit. But I got because I'm a dork for the Matrix. It's an enamel pin. And it's code. Yes. Is that not sick? I think it's sick personally. They even made their business card look all matrixy. It's got some code in there. I can appreciate that. I mean, did you see the background on my computer? When I'm not streaming and I don't care about CPU usage, this is live. This is a live wallpaper of code falling because I had no. I have. I might as well just put on my fucking fedora right now. <laughs> I'm a dork. It's fine. Everything's fine. But anyway, I put enamel pins, cool, sick enamel pins like this, on my um, camera strap. I wear a harness when I'm working to take the weight of my very fucking heavy camera <laughs> off of my neck and put it squarely on my shoulders uh, because I have a bad back. And the more weight I can distribute off of my neck and back, the better. So, um... Yeah, I have this really cool... Shit, it's not near me. We should have like a little show and tell and I show you all the pins on my camera. I also have a pin collection right here on my wall on a um, cork board. I guess that's what you call them. Pegboard, cork, made out of cork. And I'll change pins in and out sometimes. 
So, I actually just got a new Mandalorian pin, a PlayStation pin, a Twin Peaks pin, a Futurama pin, this Matrix pin. I, uh, I'm drowning in pins. I need to slow down. I need to, like, t to take a step back. And really... <laughs> It's been a lot of fun though. Usually I pick up pins at Comic Con and stuff like that, but I have never, ever, ever seen a Matrix pin. You know what I notice? And what kind of grinds my gears? Or steams my buns? Or chaps my hide? Whatever way you want to put it. I've been to a lot of conventions. I've been to a lot of places where nerds gather. I've. Uh, Comic Cons. Um, uh, swap meets, um, little, like, local art things, you know, things like that. Little markets, um, where dorks and geeks and nerds make shit and sell stuff. But I've very, very rarely, very rarely do I ever see anything Matrix-themed. And I have a lot of fandoms, don't get me wrong, and I see a lot of Doctor Who stuff. I see a lot of, you know, Star Wars stuff. I see a lot of Marvel, anything and everything, you name it, you know, DC, uh, you know, fuck, you name it, name it, horror, we can get into horror any day, I've been to horror conventions, but as far as like comic, sci-fi, that kind of thing, Matrix checks all the boxes, but I never see any Matrix stuff at Comic Cons or anything like that, and it drives me up the wall, because I want Matrix stuff. like. I think last year at either San Diego or Phoenix. It might have been Phoenix, Fan Fusion, or whatever the fuck they call it now. I call it Confusion. I think they had like a pair of Matrix print leggings, but the quality of the leggings, it's like whatever. But that's the only thing that was Matrix that I've seen. So, like, seeing this on Etsy blew me away. I just typed in Matrix stuff, and of course, stuff exists, but. I saw this and I was like, oh, fun, I can I won't be waiting for a Comic-Con to find that because I won't find it at Comic-Con. Because every Comic-Con I've been to, there's no Matrix stuff, which just doesn't make any sense. So that's my rant for the day <laughs> on Matrix shit. Let's see, are my photos ready? Are they ready? Almost. Oh, almost. We're getting there right now. We're going to vape because vaping's fun. Oh, and it's legal where I live. Isn't that great? According to Twitch, if uh, medical cannabis or recreational, whatever, is legal where you live, you can do it. I have a medical card, so. And it's also recreationally legal where I live, so it's not really a problem. And I feel like, in case a kid tuned into this and saw this, it's 2023. If your kid doesn't know what weed is, let's educate them. Um, my mom taught me that it was medicine when I was a kid and not to tell anybody that she did it or she'd get in trouble. So I wasn't a snitch. I kept my mouth shut, but, um, yeah, no, I also do it in this form. I don't like to smoke, smoke, smoke cause it's bad for my asthma. So my doctor actually recommended that I get a, essentially a medical grade vaporizer, which is pretty sick. There's not oil in here. It's a flower. Which is pretty red. That always surprises people. They're like, oh, I figured it was oil. I'm like, no. No. No, it's as pure as I can get it. Without combustion, if that makes sense. And I don't really want to smoke on stream. But I have no qualms about vaping. <clears throat> oh, these mermaid photos. I wonder if I'll be able to edit any of them. Maybe. Maybe. It's getting warm. I should turn my fan on. Oh no, that's background noise. I can't turn my fan on. Then someone will complain that it's noisy. Poo. Ooh, we've been streaming for an hour. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> Get done. Convert those to DNGs. Convert them. Convert them. I always like to start at the back and move. Like start at the end and move backwards, I don't know why. Let's see. 
I'm not gonna do any heavy duty editing to these tonight. I'm just gonna run through Lightroom and just like do the basic fixes and stuff like that. Basic things. Let's see. Oh, can I rest my arm right here? Probably not. Of course not. Can't actually be comfortable while I'm working. <laughs> now with a microphone up all up in my face. The fuck? There's a bunch of noise going. On. Is this like roof caving in? Glamorous. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna keep these. All of these. I just saved. I just grabbed crap at random mostly. Got the blood going off. Oh my god, is, are his feet off the ground? Oh shit, he's levitating. Nice. He's fully off the ground. Is he levitating too? No, his foot's in the dirt there. That's a trip, man. That's kind of trippy. <laughs> I got him levitating. Neat. It's neat. Hmm. And a pop, and a poop, and a pop, poop, poop, pop. I don't know who needs to hear this, but pee pee poo poo. It's that serious tonight. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I saw that on a meme today. It was all motivational looking. It just made my day. Ooh. Terrible way to die. Double swords to the neck. Oh, man. Do I have to get up early tomorrow? No, I don't. Now I'm just thinking out loud, sorry. Isn't that what this whole stream is, though? Just a stream of consciousness. I don't script stuff. I probably should, because I'm not funny. And I'm not very good at improv. Not that we're trying to improv or anything. We're just sitting here looking at photos and talking about what I do. People either watch it or they don't. It's not going to hurt my feelings if you don't. Ah, look at this guy in the audience. He's like, oh, giving us a massive O face. Wow. He is psyched. This man, look at this beard for starters. Wow. I'm not going to roast this guy. I'm just, I'm hyped that he's hyped. Just look at that. That is a gnarly, just, oh. What are these glasses for an 80 year old woman? What is this? Justice looks worried. Oh no. Oh, this old lady's like <laughs> contemplating. This guy's got a baby. Awesome. Is that the Nightwing guy? Oh my god. He's got a sick hat. Look at the people in the crowd, this is funny. Does that... Oh, I thought that was somebody I know. I was like, is that, is that my friend? <laughs> no. Huh. This guy. Oh, man. Awesome.
Man, my background was a little overexposed, wasn't it? It's okay, I was doing the Sunny 16 rule. If those of you who aren't photographers don't know Sunny 16, it's like, what is it, F-stop of six, F-16? I'm gonna try to keep my shutter speed high. At an aperture of, uh, I guess 16, no, yeah, sorry. <clears throat> Forgot if I already mentioned that. Justin. You know, I spoke with someone yesterday while I was at my corporate headshot gig in Scottsdale. Um, but I talked to this woman who was like, she was in her 70s, like late 70s. And she told me that her and her husband have been going to the Arizona Run Fair since it started. And it's been going on since like I was born. So. I, yeah, but, um, it's been around a while, at least I feel like it's been a while, but she told me she has maps of it, of before the, uh, cause they hand you little, you know, little pamphlets, little maps, like to a theme park, um, so you can find your way around, cause it's a pretty big Ren fair, and she's like, oh, I still have maps from before there was a jousting arena, and I was like, wow, so like, it's just been piecemealed together, and she's like, oh, it's slowly grown over the years, and I was like, Wow, well, I'm glad it's where we are now. It's really awesome. I love our render. It's pretty cool. And I'm glad we I went opening weekend because it's just going to get hotter and hotter and hotter <laughs> until it's summer and then it's hell again. Our winters are just not long enough. Winter. The coldest it gets here is like, I mean at night it gets pretty damn chilly once the sun goes down, but the city holds in a lot of heat, the asphalt and shit. But it gets, I mean it gets like dead, it gets down to like 40. But it's highs of 70 every fucking day, pretty much. That's nice. I like the 70. It's the 120 I don't like. 120 is brutal. Oh shit, am I smudging my my face? Hopefully not. Let me take a look at it. I can't look up in the camera and over at the replay at the same time. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, it's fine. Perfect. Oh, the horse is so handsome. Oh, my contacts drying out. Why did I wear contacts? So if you're curious, these are presets that I've created over the years and times and things for other photos. Some of them aren't my creation, some of them are public domain, just like a handful of them really. I can't even remember which ones, but um, yeah, they're basically just settings, excuse me, from over here that are tweaked and retweaked a thousand times and I like them enough to save them and use them for other photos like right now for example and I'll select a bunch sync them up now they're all done the same way I just save myself like five minutes maybe ten I don't know quicker than I used to be I remember when I used to use, fuck, what was that photo editing app Google had? Do they still have it? Probably not. It's like, go before Google Photos. Hmm. 
I don't remember, but like you could put watermarks on stuff. And that was like the first software I used for editing. It was awful. There wasn't any editing going on really. It was just me tweaking some of the saturation and stuff and like slapping a watermark on it. It was pretty sad, but it was 2014, 2015. It was a start. I didn't know what I was doing. I've been, I've, I've technically started photography 15 years ago, but I have not been shooting that long. I've been shooting for less than a decade, but just, wow. A couple more years, it'll be a decade that I've been like regularly trying to do stuff. But it's only been a couple of years since I've been in business for myself, and I don't count COVID years, so those two years didn't happen. <laughs> they just, we just wiped those ones off the map business-wise. They didn't happen because there was no business to happen, so I didn't close up shop or anything. I just froze with the rest of the world. Hello, child. Yes, you can come sit on my lap if you'd like, my child. Come, sit. No? Okay. Thanks for just walking by and yelling at me. That's cool. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, kid. Oops. Sweet spot, there we go. Okay, moving right along. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's a cool pose. What the crap? My cat walked in front of the light. Freaked me out. Thought my light was flashing or something. Put the straw in here, drink my waters. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes, kitty. Mm-hmm. Well, why don't you come sit up here? Why don't you come on? Okay. She's just gonna shout. That's why her name is Whisper. <clears throat> yes. Went up to her name. Yes, dear. Oh, you got treats earlier. You're not supposed to have treats multiple times in a day because you they're so rich and delicious. You get very you get very fancy treats, my child. Very fancy. So fancy uh, and so rich. Oh my darling. My dearest, dearest dove. Just come sit up here. Just come sit on my lap. She's just... If she comes to sit, maybe we won't be able to say hello to the cat, but... She just likes to mostly sit and scream. That's kind of her thing. So... That's her name's... Yes, dear. Her name's Whisper. Because she won't... Yep. Can I pet you? Can I offer you a seat on my lap? Come on, kid. Get up here. Get some pets. You all? All right. Well, then quit yelling at me. Damn. Rude. I say. 
Did I just bash my computer? I did. I bashed my chair into the desk. Sorry. Oh, kitty. Why are you yelling at me? Nobody wants to hear you yell at me, kid. Go ahead, do it again. You have like a timer. A certain amount of... You have a rhythm. Don't miss a meow. Babe. Come on, come sit up here. Oh my goodness. Jeez, kid. Oh my gosh. What a child. Yeah. Why are you yelling at me? Oh, because you want treats. Yes. But you just had some, like, a few hours ago. Oh, my God. Gosh. Babe. My dear. You also have a bowl of food over there waiting for you to eat. Oh, my dear. Oh, my darling. What a treasure. This child of mine. Whisper, just relax. Come and sit on my lap. Stop yelling at me and stop putting claws in my chair. Do you mind? Well, you wouldn't get stuck if you wouldn't put your claw in my freaking chair, kid. I don't want marks on this one. Whoops, already done that. I'm just gonna ignore her as best as I can. Whisper, you're not supposed to have treats multiple times a day. According to the vet, you could lose some weight. I still want to treat you. Just like I treat myself. Can't have sweets all the time. No, babe. Can't have treats all the time. No, sure can't. She has this idea. She likes to walk outside on a leash. I'm talking about my cat, of course. And she has this idea that it's kosher to go outside at night and take a night walk, which it's not, because if she, some for some reason, God forbid, gets off the harness and leash and gets away, it's night. What am I going to do? What is she going to do? <laughs> but, uh, no, we take her on walks during the day. Sometimes. Not every day. Not when it's hot. Not when it's summer. And not every day during the winter either. I don't always have time to take her out. She's... It, we just kind of go at her pace. Don't really get to walk... I don't lead her so much as she kind of just... Pokes around and see what's interesting to her. And I just kind of follow her lead. Oh, I already did that one, didn't I? God damn it. Sorry. All right, it's 9.30. I've been streaming for about an hour 20. Not bad, not bad. All right, so instead of adjusting all these, I'm just gonna go through and see what I wanna keep first and foremost. Let's see. Yeah, I'll take the open mouth one. Oh man, they're both good. Think about it later. Oh, it's blurry. Never mind. Thought I had something there. Oh, what do we got here? Yeah, she's got her tongue sticking out. 
Oh, it's that guy. Is it the same damn photo? Oh, hold on, let's see. Clearer. Definitely clearer. Pardon me. Yeah, that's clear. Yeah, that's clear. That's blurred. Man, I should have turned my shutter speed up. What was I thinking? It's too focused on the light. I think my shutter speed was at like 250. I should have been fast enough. Guess not. Oh well. Oh yeah, I said I wasn't going to adjust these right now, and here I am doing that. It's a cool shot though. Which one do I want to keep? I don't like keeping two of something that is very similar to each other. I think I'll get rid of that one. Her head looks strained. Um, so like if there's a couple back to back that look, oh, excuse me, a lot alike. I won't keep them. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you really just look at me and say, wah? With that face? Wow. Well, come sit on my lap. Instead of just meowing at me. Please? Oh my goodness. Mmm, get rid of that one. Ugh. I might have to put these in a, um, some of these, if they're, like, good enough to me, I might see them as, like, um, hero shots for the shoot, for the shoot, it wasn't a shoot, it was just me walking around the freaking Ren Fair. but I might take a, like, a, like, a handful of them and put them on my website as part of the live event portfolio. But for the most part, this might just get shared as like a folder on, or an album on uh, Facebook or something. Maybe drop a few on my Instagram, I don't know. I wish there was a better way, oh fuck. I should have took more video. That way I could transition better on TikTok video to photo. I'm trying really hard to get better at that, but it is so hard to remember, and it's really hard to do both. I'm only one person, and I don't trust another person to take good video for me. So, unless you know what you're doing. <laughs> it's cool, but it's blurry. Keep, keep, keep. Which one of those do I want more? Oh, is that a little blurry? Is that a little not blurry? I see. Yeah, I kind of like that first one. I like that one more. That one. Get rid of that. Too similar. Too similar. So yeah, a lot of the times when I'm not doing a fancy pants edit, um, or before I can even get to that point to do a fancy pants edit, I have to uh, sit and sort. Sit and sort. 
so before I got on stream I put that memory card in the back of my computer and this is the first time any one of us has seen this so um, but yeah sit and sort run things through Lightroom edit uh, like mostly crop light adjustment contrast s curve saturation well which is s curve but yeah that kind of thing and then if i want to edit things in a fancier way i'll put them on photoshop but uh for the most part i just this this kind of stuff i'll just run it through lightroom once right now i'm going through and making sure i want everything that i have and deleting what i don't and then i'll go back through and adjust and crop and edit and what I do here now will be the end for these unless I decide to take one of those mermaid ones and do something fancier with it but for the most part I had my uh, my ISO on auto all day because I didn't have my flash with me I was just walking around relying on the sun so it's a natural light event you know so everything's pretty well lit Even the mermaid, which was inside, but very well lit. I think that's cached. All right, I definitely, let's see. These are gonna be hard to, hard to pick, man. Motion ones are always hard to whittle down because they're all really cool, but I'd never want to upload like 15 of the same friggin' thing, you know what I mean? It can get annoying quickly. Do I like this enough to upload it? Possibly. I gotta edit it first. I might even edit it and still delete it later. You never know. Oh. Damn, that's a little blur. I think we'll lose that one. A little grainy. Might be able to sharpen that up a bit. Delete. Damn, how many did I import? Oh my god, a bunch. That's a cool shot. Oh, my back itches, sorry. <laughs> Those are cool. I need more water. Oh, and there was a cat show. I didn't get any photos of it because, frankly, I was just enjoying it. But there was a cat show. And rats. They had cats and rats. It was fun. They had trained cats and rats. My cat's trained. Not like that. But well, my cat can do a few tricks. She can't, like jump through hoops or anything which actually that was the last trick we were working on but I uh, gave up <laughs> yeah I'll probably edit these and then see where I stand with them I'm getting sleepy I have never done a stream this late it is late to me it's late I missed the end of, or the beginning of this dance. That's why I didn't get so much of it. I had just sat down. I remember that. Yeah. You know, I'm happy, happier with the ones I got later. I had a better angle, and that guy wasn't standing in the damn way. Do you mind? Hush. That's enough. 
You're just being a nuisance now. Whisper? Come here. Come here. Why don't you come sit on my lap and get some pets, kid? Don't you know where to get the pets? You sat on my lap for like an hour and a half today while I was working. Why aren't you doing it now? You just like to yell. I know. That's, yep. That's, mm-hmm. That's what she do. I don't like any of these. <laughs> Go figure. Oh my god, it's just... Hush. My noise cancelling doesn't cancel out her noise. At all. Man, if I could spend some more time with horses, I could get some cool shots of them doing action stuff. His feet are clean. There. There we go. Oh shit! Oh, a raid! Oh, sick! Hey! Death the Asian? I hope I'm saying that right. Raiding me with a party of 10? What's up? How's it going? Thank you for the raid. That's rad. I think that's my very, very, very first raid, actually. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Hi. For anybody who just came by, thanks for stopping by. This is Big Click Energy. We're just looking at a photo of a horse right now. <laughs> actually, it's a knight on a horse that I took at Renaissance Festival last weekend. And my cat is screaming at me in the background and starting to get just, just right here under my skin. Just, just, just right there. She's been doing it for about 15 minutes now, so. Whew. Thank you for the follow and the raid. You rock, man. Or lady or thady, whatever you, whatever you are, you beautiful person you, thank you. <clears throat> just sorting photos nothing fancy sometimes we do really cool cosplay edits sometimes we do this oh followers only chat on hello yeah I do have followers only chat on I need to probably fix that I did it at first for security reasons but um probably a good idea to turn it off at least now I can get raids. Last week I had a issue with getting raided by somebody else. Their raid wouldn't go through, unfortunately. Oh, this was sick. Awesome, thank you. You're also a photographer. Awesome, I'll have to check out your, uh, your channel. I am brand spanking new to Twitch. I don't really have structure or script or really know ever what I never really know what I'm gonna stream about but what got me started was um, I do I do everything <laughs> I do headshots and this though we'll get back to this I do cosplay drag blacklight events weddings <sighs> family portraits graduation uh, to, uh, headshots for your corporate crap. Um, pets, commercial products, architecture, estate, travel, and I do graphic design. Holy moly. Um, but what got me going on Twitch was a friend of mine who does cosplay. She, we were out for coffee one day and she was like, hey, do you ever stream your cosplay edits? And I was like, no, <laughs> no, 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 I never have made a tutorial, nothing like that, not once. 
and um, so uh, she was like, I think it'd be really interesting to see what you do, how you do it, how you turn these into things. And I was like, you know, even if nobody watches it, even if just you watch it once and enjoy it, that would be enough for me. So I started doing that. Oh yeah, welcome to Twitch. Yeah, thank you. I'm all, I'm very new and slow to read chat and everything that's going on. I have two monitors to look back and forth. But yeah, here's some of my cosplay work, if you're curious. Um, these photos, for example, were taken in front, if you've ever been to San Diego Comic Con. Um, God, I need to turn followers chat off. I'm sorry, everybody who might want to chat. My apologies. Um, anyway, these were taken at San Diego Comic Con against a staircase outside, like the big staircase where everybody does their epic group photos. Uh, I was hanging out out there to scope out cosplayers and get some cool photos and stuff. And the Mandalorian Mercenary Club, they were like, hey, uh, our photographer didn't show up and we're in trouble. We, we are all here and we need like our official group photo here to like keep our residents. I don't know what their thing is, but like they need something for their record book or whatever. And so I was like, yeah, I have a camera. I can help you. And I know a couple of the Mandos. So they were, ha you know, happy to oblige. And I did all their group photos and then I had them stand individually for me. And I got some individual shots that I really liked working on. But when I took these and had these last July, I didn't have Twitch. I mean, I've been, I've been watching and consuming other Twitch streamers for years now, but um, never streaming on my own. So yeah, a cosplayer friend of mine was just like, you really should probably stream some of the stuff, show people how you do what you do, or at least let them watch the process of how it comes together. And I was like, yeah, that's a pretty good idea pretty sick. I was inspired actually by another Twitch streamer, uh, Joseph Burke Arts, I think this is his name. I don't know. Maybe you've heard of him. He's a part of um, a creative collective, but I have a hair right here and it's driving me absolutely insane. Pardon me. I just keep trying to rub. I'm probably rubbing lipstick all over my face. Awesome. <laughs> But anyway, Joseph Burke Arts did like this really cool, he does um, art, 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 <laughs> like, I guess what I do is art too, but he digitally paints uh, on a pad and he did this really cool synthwave Boba Fett and technically this is a death watch, but I just changed the insignia right here, don't tell, shh, it's a secret, but um, yeah, I really liked his Boba Fett, so I totally, I reached out and asked for his permission, of course, and I was like, hi, I have this cosplay photo here, see, it's a Mandalorian in front of a staircase, I want to make it look like your piece, uh, but like, with my own flair, and he was so obliged, and so honored, and so pleased that somebody would ask permission first, that he sent me the original file for this, the text right here, um, the original PNG, which was like, G G freaking ginormous <laughs> sorry i might have spit a little bit there i'm so excited but no it was really cool to and, and he was like oh this might tie our pieces together and i was like yeah and then i went off and made more <laughs> for a synthwave series i did a little synthwave cat woman and a little synthwave black knight monty python uh, i think i did another synthwave can't remember what it was don't know if i put it on my website probably not uh more comic-con photos all taken either on the convention floor. Actually, this was a hired job, a hired hit. A friend of mine who does some amazing cosplay. This was a Bloodborne cosplay, which looked awesome. It was Eileen the Crow, obviously, for anybody who's ever played Bloodborne. Awesome. Here's a good, here's a fun Moon Knight. That was fun to edit. Spider Punk, Ant Man. Friend of mine who does an incredible Logan. So yeah, some of these are at Phoenix too. This is at Phoenix Comic Con. You can still see the damn badge. I, <laughs> I didn't feel like editing that out and dealing with it, so I just left it. But yeah, this is um, why I started streaming, so we could look at fun crap like this. Yes, maybe it'll be, f it'll be fun to enjoy. Maybe people will like to uh, uh, see the process, see what we do. 
That's what we do over here at Big Click Energy. And I'm still very new, so I don't have like my prereqs for emotes or anything fun like that yet. Fresh. Baby fresh here on Twitch. Oh, here's my piece that got stolen a bunch and sold on Amazon <laughs> before I, I... I This is like the first thing I ever did was this, actually. And um, before I was very good at watermarking things, that was one of my first pieces to get stolen with a watermark on it, actually. And they tried to sell it on Amazon. Thankfully, I got it taken down on the US site it might still be sold in other countries but yeah that's it's kind of what I do cosplay photography it's a lot of fun good times great oldies oh man god if I can get my hands on more predators and aliens those are fun to shoot and edit I love armor like as much as I love you know, I, I like a good princess as much as the next person, I guess, but... Or, you know, a good storm. But things with faces... Okay, I like I like heavy, heavy makeup, masks, and armor, because they're just more fun to edit. I can get away with more. I can... I don't have to worry about facial features being completely and utterly destroyed and distorted. <laughs> like this. This is actually how that lightsaber looked when I shot it. And I, in that moment, I was, like, thinking, I've never shot a lightsaber before. <laughs> I am screwed. I don't know what I'm doing. But then I, I figured it out. But that was my first attempt at ever editing a lightsaber. So now I might, I don't know, find a new way to do it better. First time shooting Renfair style stuff. There was no wine in that glass when I shot it. <laughs> Little memories. Oh, fun. Oh, she's spooky. She's a spooky clown. Watch out. So yeah. Oh, everybody loves animals, right? Well, I still have a few of you around. Who wants to look at the fun animals? This was fun, actually. I live in a desert and um, very hot, very dry. And it gets up to like 120 degrees where I live in the summer. No joke. Fahrenheit. And uh, for like 50 Celsius, probably. And... Um, the people who own this dog, this gorgeous, gigantic St. Bernard, wanted me to shoot this dog outside, like they wanted to take this couch, this couch was real, they had this couch, and they wanted to take it outside and have him lay on it in a desert scene. And I was like, oh hell no, we are not taking a St. Bernard outside in the summer. So I, uh, it, the couch is just sitting in the kitchen, and you can see it's kind of tattered and torn in certain places. And it's the dog's couch. It's nobody else's. It's his. But it's in it's in the kitchen right next to like a window and a little shelf with some food and shit on it. Um, and it was, you know, 65, 70 in the house and cool with AC. So I let the dog sit on the couch and I was like, I put up the light and everything and I took a few photos. And they were like, well, how are you going to make him look like he's outside? And I was like, trust me. And so then... <laughs> I went through some of my own photos, I think, or maybe public domain, probably my own, because they showed me the area they wanted to shoot in, and I was like, let me grab that for you. Um, but yeah, I remember grabbing one of my own images and then using it as a background and putting the two together and got this. So God, no, I'm never going to put a dog like that outside in the heat. Are you nuts? But um, if you hear a meow, that's my cat. Her name's Whisper. Can you guess why? Can you guess why her name's Whisper? Yeah. She doesn't. How about that? Oh yeah, bee and a butterfly. Love that. Love doing macro photography. So yeah, cute animals. Oh, cute. This guy, this, oh, this guy was just the, Roger, he's a sweetie. I'll never forget that snake. Like, get on my lap. If you're gonna keep yelling at me, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna spank your little butt. Spank your little kitty butt. What is going on? Why are you yelling? <sighs> so yeah, I do a little bit of everything. That's my gig. I'm a photographer. Do a little graphic design. I started doing photography years ago um, when I lived in Norway. A friend of mine who made 
document basically he made documentaries for Norwegian TV. Like there's this company called Archicon dot or Archicon AS. There's the website's Archicon.no. But um I did Norwegian to English translation for their website. Uh, and he put a ca- my friend put a camera in my hands and was like, I think you might be good at this. And I was like, we have no evidence of that. We have no idea if I'm going to be good at this. <laughs> but he let me start taking photos of stuff. And he did, um, still does, actually, Vicre- Viking Age tool rec- recreation. So he does flint napping, things like that. Um, they built, I remember for a documentary when I lived there, they built a catapult, like a gigantic working catapult, like massive, where you could toss a boulder, and we did, into the sea. It was pretty cool. Took photos of that. A couple of my photos ended up in a museum over there, um, where he would do demonstrations and show p- people of all ages how Vikings made tools, basically, and what the tools look like. That's what I did. So my first gig in photography. Never knew I was going to do photography, but that was the first thing I ever did. And then I moved back to the States. Uh, didn't touch a camera for years. And then finally decided one day, you know, maybe I should try doing that photography thing. Yeah, I don't know. See where it goes. And so I bought a cheapy little piece of crap off of Craigslist when that was still a thing. And it was like a Canon Rebel. Um good camera for starters and I just started shooting everything I would go to zoos I think this was actually shot with my Canon Rebel this actually ended up on National Geographic's website in some article but um, I have a copy of it somewhere but yeah like that was a Canon Rebel not bad and I've had a Nikon after my Canon and then I had a uh, I have what I have now my Sony and I do a little bit of everything. I even do graphic design. Um, I managed a Sears Portrait Studio. I've had a lot of odd jobs since Norway, but I've managed a Sears Portrait Studio for a while. That's where I really got, like, got a lot of experience and stuff. And then I went to college uh, just to get like some... I just really wanted to take a couple of classes in Photoshop. And I didn't even care if I had to go to campus or do it remotely. I just needed to learn how Photoshop worked. And I didn't want to just, like, do YouTube videos. I wanted some structure and some, you know, routine. And I wanted to, you know, go for a grade. Why not? But apparently I already had some prereqs and from another degree that I had done. And uh, apparently it was go- I was good for, like, going for a full degree in photography. So that's what I did. And I accidentally got a associates in photography. Um... But I really just wanted to learn how Photoshop worked so I could do those cosplay edits. So yeah, I got good enough to do some menus and stuff like that. Mostly drag show flyers. I do a lot of event flyers. I've actually streamed a few here on Twitch that I need to add to my website now. I need to update my website. And then there's this one thing that I love doing, but I can never get people to get... People aren't... I don't know. I can never get anyone down to do it. It's hard to find a good... Uh, model who's being you know who's willing to be covered in UV paint (laughs) non-toxic of course but UV makeup nonetheless I've got a few people who've done it over the years that's one of my favorite things to do I do drag I I personally don't do drag I do drag photography that's another thing anything you need Arizona based photographer that's me big click energy and if you go to bigclickphoto.com, you can check out all the stuff. I'm even not shy. I'll post my packages and the prices. They fluctuate throughout the years because inflation, cost of living. But um, I try to be pretty affordable. But yeah, that's me. And now that I've lost most of those raid viewers, I'm going to go back to what I was doing. <laughs> Just kidding. Thanks for coming. I appreciate you. I appreciate any anybody who follows and has anything to say in the chat I gotta do uh turn that off the follower only chat I'll do that before the next stream so that more folks can stop by and say hey without having to follow but speaking of following if you have an Amazon Prime you can use that free Prime sub to sub to any of your favorite Twitch streamers just don't forget you have to come back every month and like resub if you want to keep using it on the same person or something 
Yeah, I think we got some cute stuff at the Ren Fair. Cute stuff. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with these. I might take a few of these mermaid ones and try something fancy. I can totally clip her out of here and wipe out the background and make it entirely new. I might. I don't know. I've never done a mermaid scene. I've done an Aquaman um, where I kind of made him look like he was underwater, but eh. I want to do like a like a mermaid. That'd be cool. What did I touch? Okay. I feel like Adam Grant in Jurassic Park. Alan Grant, sorry. <laughs> what did I break? Nope, that's... You know what? I bet that's the same... I didn't go up and talk to these guys this year. But this bird here that I got a fucking blurry ass photo of. God damn it, I didn't have my shutter speed high enough. This bird, when I met it several years ago, it was 28, 29 years old. Which was sick. So it must be in its 30s now. And I'm pretty sure... Whoops, don't look at that. That's something we're... Source material for some other crap we're working on later. I'm pretty sure that's the same bird I got a photo of at Renfair a few years ago when I met the bird. Unless they got another bird that was just like it. Hold on, I'm going back to this. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, this. I shot this at Renfair some years ago. Not many years, like in the past six sometime. So realistically, it could be the same bird. Love it. Oh my gosh, you can see my old logo back there. <laughs> I guess I couldn't find a fresh photo. Huh. Yeah, some um, South American king vulture. Awesome bird. Beautiful. Huge. Beautiful. Just, ah, oh, I love vultures. I love all animals, but vultures are just cool. I mean, come on. Look at that thing. That's, it, it, it's gorgeous. <laughs> stunning. Look at his makeup. This is a stunning queen. Alright. Well, that's not what I. What is happening? Okay. Cool. So, yeah, that's. That's it for today, I think, boys and girls, and theys and thems, and who's its and what's its. I am going to skadoodle here in a mo, but let's recap. So. Last stream. I did this i always like to be like previously on just to know like uh, it's a page marker for myself for later i took this source material yes i took this pretty already beautiful by itself uh and took and made it look like this just for funsies just to just just to just to you know keep it fresh just to you know Stretch our legs. Um, did that in a whole stream, actually. If you want to find that and watch that stream, of course, you people know how to use Twitch. You can do it right here on Twitch. But I also have a YouTube. I also have a YouTube. See, look at this lovely YouTube. Uh, I, yeah, that one's uploaded right there. Bingo. And I try to um, retroactively cut out the intro the going live with the banging music that you hear if you ever watch my live intro uh, loop. I try to cut that out for VOD gang, but yeah, I have a YouTube, believe it, Big Click Energy. I got a few subs. Really appreciate any and all subs. I expect none. So any and all subs are always it's very, very, very much appreciated and always a surprise to receive. So yeah, I got a YouTube if you ever want to catch these streams after the fact. I typically upload them over there the day after, so you won't see them up there tonight because I'm tired and I don't want to look at my computer screen anymore. But I will probably get back to it and upload it tomorrow with a bunch of other stuff. This is what I did last time. I've got another astronaut photo in the wings. This. I want to do something cool with it. Uh, and then over the last couple of days I had a friend reach out to me about this photo he wanted to have restored for a dear family member of his um, I guess this was their like great great whatever ancient right 
and the photos so far gone but I took it and did my very very best hold on I'll move it back in a second eh. Did my very woo sheesh can we not go that far thank you i did my very best let's make it centralized i gotta remember what you guys can see on stream i did that so we went from oh my god <laughs> to hey they have a face <laughs> they have faces they have features they're human people so yeah that's what i did Can I zoom in on this? Oh, wait, I have to actually activate it. Derp. Zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. There, yeah. Wow. God, that hurts. That hurts to look at. That's actually painful. Where's the other one? I lost it. Bam. Oh my goodness. I impress myself sometimes, no big deal. I'm not trying to brag. <laughs> I am my own worst critic and enemy when it comes to my work. I am mean to myself. So this was, made me feel a little bit better. I feel like I brought him back to life. It's pretty cool. I used to do this kind of stuff all the time. I actually got trained in that kind of stuff when I worked at Sears, believe it or not. And I know now AI can do it like way quicker, but it's just fun to do sometimes. So. I'm just checking. Okay. Yeah. That's another thing I can do. I'll probably never do that kind of thing on stream because it's just so dreadfully boring. I mean, I'm dreadfully boring enough as it is. So hopefully this is fun enough to look at and listen to long enough for me to finish what I'm doing on stream. <laughs> but yeah, I think um, next time, I don't really, I never really have a plan. We've done... Krampus. We've done Sexy Krampus was my very first stream. And then we had some fashion photos, I believe, from a Fancy Pants Salon studio shoot with, like, uh, models and, like, really cool, interesting hairstyles. Like, high art, avant-garde, weird stuff like that. Um, then we did Mandalorian photos. So we've had a little taste of the cosplay stuff here on Twitch now. It's just not con season, so it's not really cosplay heavy stuff that I'm working on. So that's why I try to throw in some of these astro- like these astronauts or- I, I have like a whole folder called up for editing right here that's just filled with excess work of my own plus public domain or swap images. Some photographers will get together and will trade pictures and be like, you edit this, I'll edit this. I just want to see how you do it. Like, Okay, it's weird, but that's what we do sometimes. So, yeah. I don't know what we're going to do next time. You'll just have to tune in and see. It'll be a surprise. It'll be a surprise for me and you, probably. I don't know what I'm doing until we do it. And I don't know how it's going to look until it's done. So, it's always, it's always a pleasant surprise. Oh, man, that popped in a very startling way okay well now thank you death the asian for reminding me that i have a followers only chat on that's gonna change and um thank you so much for the raid that was rad dude i've never had never had a raid so that was my first time if only i would have had my non-follower chat thing on i could have got my follower requisite for the month i don't know i'm trying to like meet all the goals on twitch but I'm really not that, I'm not that hardcore about it. I'm just here to have fun. If I get a follower or two or someone who wants to actually chat, that's great. Thank you. I appreciate your time, your energy, and your effort. You could be doing other things with your life, but here we are. We're enjoying each other's art, and that's, that's beautiful. So yeah, I am going to just call it a day, I think. I gotta go back through these. Basically, all we did today on stream was get these into my computer off a memory card I just put one of these little memory cards in the back of the computer before the stream started and we saw them first together so I'm gonna go through some of them will probably disappear I'll give them a little light editing here in Lightroom and that'll be it some of those mermaid ones I might do a little heavy-duty edit to 
later on, it'll go in that up for editing folder with the public domain stuff and the extra work. It's not something that needs to be done. It's something I did for fun, for free. It does it has no deadline. So it's just going to end up in a folder of maybe, you know, if I get around to it, if I have a vision one day, I'll, I'll keep it in the back of my mind. I'll be like, you know, I have that picture of that mermaid. How do I want to edit that? You know, that kind of thing. So that's the plan. So right now, that's all I can think of. That's all I got. And my messy desktop, which everybody sees, but it's very public. It's fine. So that's it for today. I do have a schedule up now and it does say Wednesday and Thursday, but, um, you know what? I'm going to try to do something. Hold on. Bear with me. I want to do it live. Will it reach? Will it reach? I know my hands in front of it. I'm sorry. I'm trying something fun and cool. I swear. Wait, how the? Okay, there we go. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, no. I know I should be doing this later, but I just wanted to see if it would work and I'm impulsive as hell. It's not gonna work. You can just see my calendar. Well, shoot. I thought I was doing something cool. Never mind. That was annoying, huh? It was an experiment. I think I'm gonna have, like, try something different with this. Because I always look at the replay monitor to make sure I'm, I don't know, moving correctly and being a human being, right? I'm an alien, it's a secret, don't tell. But I wanna put this right here and maybe change up how the how the angle is. But anyway, sorry I put you sorry I put you through that. I should have done that later. But I'm impulsive. So yeah, that's look at my gigantic hand. That's not a bad spot for now. I think we'll just leave it there. See some of the wall, see some of my shelf, see all the cool groovy lighting. That works. Sorry I'm hot. I keep moving my hair back because I'm burning. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm done for now. I am going to skadoodle off of here, get a not get a snack. It's 10 o'clock at night. I'm probably going to wash my face, go play some video games, and go to bed. You know, isn't that ironic? I don't stream my gameplay. I should. I just can't. I have a PS4. I don't have a PC. Oh, I know. It's gross. I do all my photo work on a Mac because most photographers work on Macs. At least most of the ones I know do, so... Um, yeah, I do play Sims on here, but my CPU is about toast. I need a new computer. This one's, uh, she's just, just past her prime. Can relate. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, don't, I don't stream my gaming. I'd like to. I do play a lot of cool games. Um, I try to keep up with new stuff. I'm not as active as a lot of streamers. But, um, like, as, you know, active at keeping up. But I play some classics. I would love to do GTA RP. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. I'd love to get in there with, like, the likes of, uh, boy, some heavy hitters. Like, Milton T. Pike, Classy Pax, Djibouti. Whew, that'd be nuts. That'd be nuts. I'd have to practice for a while. I wouldn't know what to do. I'd fucking start shaking like a leaf and piss myself if I found myself in a lobby with those guys but one day one day I wouldn't mind getting a little rig together that's a PC that's even just something small portable uh, for gaming I think RT or call me Kevin once did that where they did like a portable gaming thing and they were like here's my rig um, and they put something up together put something together that they could move around with and I was like, that's cool. I like that. I don't need something that's like heavy, heavy duty. I'm not going to do a bunch of big, big stuff. I'm just going to play like Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead. Well, maybe I do need heavy duty. I just need something with good graphics that can handle uh, basically any Rockstar game that I want to throw at it. I also like Horizon. I like Epics. I like, um, uh, what's that? Dying Light, that was a lot of fun. I still haven't played the second one. I still haven't played the second Horizon. I need to do that too. I just keep playing Red Dead. It's just relaxing. I like to go be alone and just 
wander around on my horse and grind in Red Dead Online. I need to replay the story too. It's a beautiful story. But yeah, that's... <laughs> If it wasn't for just uh, having The Sims on my Mac, I'd probably play a little more and stream a little more game material, but I just, I just, I don't know, not much on uh, streaming the gaming yet. Maybe one day, because I do have some friends that I play with and stuff, so, you know, I don't know. I also play D&D, &D, and me and my friends have talked about potentially streaming D&D &D live. We're just not sure how we would do that, but I know other people do it. I've seen it streamed a few different ways. I'm just not sure how I'd want to. I don't know. It's something to think about. There's lots of different things to stream and different ways to stream them. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not sure what we'll do next time. But I do have this. If I don't have anything going on, maybe we'll be making a flyer. I still need to make those show flyers for the series that my friend hired me to work on. Um... Could be working on show flyers, could be working on cosplay, we could be doing just meat and potatoes, boring crap like headshots or... Uh, I'm not going back to Ren Faire again right now, so that's it for, for this year. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I might work on this astronaut thing. I got a lot of... A lot of cool source material to go through and work with, so... Who knows? Tune in next time and you'll see what we're gonna do. But for now, that's it. I'm going to get off of here. It's the old, good old Midwestern goodbye. If you want to see past streams, check out my YouTube, Big Click Energy, or right here on Twitch. Um, and if you can't chat right now and you're wondering why, it's because I'm stuck on followers only chat. I didn't know that. But um, I'm going to fix it before the next stream, I promise. But yeah, this is Big Click Energy. I'm going to go. Um, before I go, what am I supposed to say? Oh yeah, if you have an Amazon Prime account, use that Prime sub. You don't have to use it on me. Use it on anyone you like on Twitch. Just use it. Don't let Papa Bezos have any more money than he already has. Use that Prime sub. Get rid of it. Um, just remember to check back in Twitch every month and keep using it. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, there's a lot of links and stuff. Um, below, right here below on my Twitch channel, go to my main profile and you can see if you want to leave a tip, if you want to uh, go to my website, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever else. I don't even know what's down there. There's a lot of links though. Just go check it out. Um, check for any misspellings and bad grammar too. Let me know. I never had anyone proofread any of the stuff I wrote down there. So if you find anything tell me about it um, <laughs> that's usually like a trick I heard that people do they'll put in um, on purpose they'll do a punctuation mistakes and stuff in their details and about me section just to get people to like interact and shit I don't know I'm I don't know I, if I have a mistake down there it's because I'm not smart <laughs> because I didn't catch it but yeah, anyway, anywho, that's me. That's Big Click Energy. I am going to upload this stream to YouTube tomorrow. So if you're watching from the future, hello, goodbye. And um, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for joining me. Thanks again for the raid, Death the Asian. That was freaking sick. So awesome. So very, oh my God. I just appreciate it so much. My first raid ever. February 8th, 2023. It's history. First raid for Big Click Energy. It's in the books. That's cool. I appreciate that. That's so awesome. So I'm going to get going because this is the latest I've ever done Twitch and I am tired. I am an old person. I am an old, old, old man. <laughs> old wo, wo man. I am an old person who goes to bed typically or falls asleep on my couch. Honestly, let's be honest. I fall asleep on my couch <laughs> like 10 o'clock at night. Um, but I think if I have a second wind, if I can find my second wind, I did promise a friend of mine that I was going to play some GTA with him and he might actually be watching and paying attention. And if you are, keep your fingers crossed that I don't pass out in the next 20 minutes because I'm going to wash my face and we're going to go play some GTA. So... <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, and thanks everyone for joining me. Um, I won't be live tomorrow. I forgot to mention that. I kind of trailed off there a moment ago. My stream schedule says Wednesday, Thursday, but I don't always stick through it because I can't. <laughs> I'm busy. So tomorrow I'm actually helping a, a friend of mine who owns a store locally. It's a cute shop um, called K Collective. I should probably plug it. Hell, um, K-E-I Collective. It's in Phoenix, Arizona. Go there. Spend money. It's awesome. Um, it's a collective of over a hundred artists that all sell their own wares. It's pretty neat. But they are expanding and walls have been knocked down and rebuilt and paint has uh, wall, wall, uh, primer has gone up and now it's time for paint and I've already painted one wall and now it is on me and it is my duty to paint yet another wall for them so I'm going to go there tomorrow uh, right around the time that I sh would be streaming normally and I'm going to get my hands dirty with some pink and black paint I think I don't know their theme is the whole theme of their store is really cool. It's half rainbow and half like K and fun and positive and rainbows and Care Bears. And then the other half is just like dark, darkness, black, void, spooky. Um, and I love it. I love the juxtaposition and it's fun because they split the entire color scheme of the entire store down the center and it's really cool looking to walk into. But um, yeah, I'm excited to paint tomorrow. So yeah. If you're near 44th Street and Thomas in Phoenix, come paint. We might need some help. But yeah, thanks so much. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to kill this uh, banging ass guitar solo that I got playing on some DMCA free <laughs> Twitch safe music. Didn't know it was shredding so hard. My face is melting. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I've been saying goodbye for like 20 minutes because I'm from the Midwest and I don't know what to do. So, thanks though I had a lot of information to share I had a lot of photos to look at today we got a pretty good chunk of time in pretty happy with this stream thanks take it easy and I'll see you hopefully next week we'll see bye <laughs>